Well, coming up huge with three points for the New York Enforcers. Again, they turn to their star, their speedster, Heather Gunnan. Her four points brought them back within striking distance. It's going to be wide open in this fourth period right now. Danny Wolf is standing by with Big Tim Washington. All right, Tim, you and the Enforcer men just came out of a heated team meeting, obviously discussing some strategy because the men didn't score any points in the first half. Listen, Wolf, that is part of our strategy. We beat them down every time in the first half, and we come back and we do a little thumb-thumb for some points there. You know what I mean, right? Are you going to be jamming in this period? I'm going to do whatever it takes to win this. This game is going out to our biggest fans in Tennessee. Ross Bagwell and Steve Land, okay? Good luck. Good luck to you. Remember, they have already said point blank. They are targeting number 12 of the Sun Dogs. Bill Barker, Captain America, D'Amato Fields, he is the strength of the Sundog men. If they take him out and Barker drops back as they get ready to start, then labels Tim Washington with a big elbow. Smart move by Captain America. It's John the Skull Morrissey and Sam the Flame Martin out as the lead jammers. The only two jammers out right now as the rest of the jammers got tangled up after the racehorse start. Martin certainly the quicker and right there the more physical as the elbow takes John Morrissey skates right out from underneath him. Now you see Washington who had rotated in the back to block out Sam the Flame Martin. Again, Washington doing a good job. Almost 30 seconds still left in this jam. Washington blocking out Martin, unable to have any kind of luck getting by the big guy out of Manhattan, Big Tim Washington for New York coach, 6'3", 210 pounds, and believe you me, it is a chisel, 210 pounds. Captain America, Bill Barker. Bill Barker with his Captain America move drops Tim Washington as Washington is casing the track and the Sun Dogs put one more point on the board. Well, but Bill Parker is playing into the hands of what Mark D'Amato and Tim, and I know Tim Washington, I don't know how much of this is act or how much is reality, but part of it I know Big Tim Washington doesn't get hurt that easily. But Bill Parker, I think, Ken is playing into their hands. Captain America is going for the bait that Mark D'Amato and these enforcement men are setting for him, and you start to look on his face, no longer that pale face, He's getting into a fist fight, Ken. I think it's going to come back to haunt him. Well, certainly the strategy of the Florida Sun Dogs very apparent. They knew they didn't have the physical prowess to stay with the enforcers, so they have turned to teamwork. Eight different jammers, eight different skaters have already scored for the Florida Sun Dogs in this very low-scoring 13 to 10 game. We'll see if that strategy carries through, but. Smart planning by Denise Loden and Bill Barker, who's put this game plan into effect in this Eastern Conference Championship. And now you've got Tom Smith closing on Brian Gamble, and coming up right behind him is Jonathan Russell. And Gamble deals with Smith, and Jonathan Russell sends Gamble right out over the track. Remember, both of those jammers score points. Two more points for the Florida Sundogs. Mark D'Amato goes by, and look, you see Brian Gamble beside himself. D'Amato had about the most sinister a look in his eyes as I've ever seen. Well, and the best look on the track, however, Ken, was Tom Smith, number 13. He was closing in on Mark D'Amato, and you talked about Mark D'Amato's expression, the look in Tom Smith's face as he threw his hands up, looked at him. He looked like a deer in headlights. This teamwork is working to absolute perfection, according to our ace statistician, James Ponte. The only Florida Sundog skater that has not scored is Bill Barker. The only man that hasn't scored for the Dogs is Bill Barker. On the other side of the coin, no enforcer man skater has put a point on the board. All 10 have come courtesy of the Enforcer women. And we're seeing it again as Sam Martin drops both the New York Enforcer jammers. It is Sam the Flame Martin all by himself out of Panama City, Florida at 5'8", 145, closing. Mark D'Amato rotates into the back to try and block out Martin. 15 to 10 in this one, a huge surprise. A low scoring game right now, working to Florida's perfection. D'Amato now tries to set up. He's setting him up as he drills him, knees, hammers him, setting him up for the Texas Bulldog, refusing to give Martin any opportunity to get by, blocking him out. I don't know if they're getting for holding him now. The Texas Bulldog runs Sam Martin, in, and now it's Barker and D'Amato going at it. 
one jam penalty to DeMotto, one more point for the Sun Dogs as Barker and DeMotto go at it toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And now Brian Gamble comes up from behind, as is Tim Washington, and it's all broken loose. Every, all the men are in this one. You see Bill Barker, you see Tom Smith come in, Gamble just hammering away at David Gladdy. The, even the officials now finally trying to separate it. It's all broken loose. The enforcers said they were going to physically annihilate the Sun Dogs. Sam Martin trying to get his wits about him. The referee is down. Tom Osborne is down. It is still 16 to 10 with the referee stopping the clock. 255 remaining in this Eastern Conference Championship. We'll be back. Mark D'Amato was a little upset. I, I think looking at the score with time remaining, he didn't want to admit it, but I think down deep he knows it was a stupid move on his part to take himself out of the game. 16 to 10, Florida Sundogs awaiting the winner, a seat in the Eastern Conference, or rather the Rio Seltzer Founders Cup Championship, the Eastern Conference Championship on the line. D'Amato wants both, and right now as we come up on two minutes, his team trails by a six, and he is in the box. The Sundogs with a man advantage. Battling it out right at the front. It is Dan Gavani and Jonathan Russell for the Sun Dogs. Gavani number 15 for New York. And coming up behind very quickly, it's Posse Shalene. It's down goes Russell. And it's Posse Shalene and Brad Icorn doing battle. And Icorn drops Posse Shalene. And now the big opportunity. Remember, the enforcer men have yet to put a point on the board. And now here come the Sun Dog jammers up from behind. And a big move by one of the New York enforcers. Brian Gamble absolutely dropped Captain America. Barker and finally the New York enforcers put three points on the board to one for the Florida Sun Dogs and very quickly how many times have we seen at the end the enforcers begin to creep back into a game and put the kiss of death on their opponents as the game winds down 59 seconds left in the jam remember the game clock doesn't mean a thing this jam is allowed to go to its full 60 seconds and Tim Washington remember in an interview with Broadway Danny Wolf said he would do whatever it takes to get his enforcers into the championship game of the Leo Seltzer Founders Cup Washington with a jammer helmet on along with Dan Gavani D'Amato at the front of the pack preventing Sam Martin from getting out as the enforcers blockade the Sun Dogs it's all up to the big shoulders of Tim Washington 6-3-2-10 out of Manhattan he's part of the five borough lineup Gambling, Giovanni at the front, blockading. Down goes Sean Marshall. Tim Washington goes by him. DeMotto tackles Bill Barker. Look at Tim Washington. The enforcers completely clear the track of Florida Sundog. Tim Washington coming around for the second time. Barker tried it. Washington plows through. Big Tim Washington. Now he cuts off the jam. Picks up seven points, and we have talked about it time and time again. Seven points by the big man and the New York enforcers. As you see, the exhaustion of Tim Washington have won this 20 to 17. They've got their ticket punch for the Leo Seltzer Founders Cup Championship game along with the California Quakes. Well, there's no question the New York enforcers have a date with the California Quakes in the Founders Cup final. Buddy, if I would have listed who on the New York Enforcers would score the winning points in the final jam, Big Tim Washington may well have been at the bottom. You're absolutely right, but I'll tell you what. Tremendous skating, tremendous skater, good team effort, and I'll tell you something, we saw some big hits there. Oh, no question. Oh, now, watch this. That's a bang right there, but where from? Boom! Boom! Parker does his number, and down goes Tim Washington. A surprise, but, but got here's, here's the deal. This man is running in here. Bang! Oh. Now, whoa, shake <laughs> over the top. He did it. That's the man who won the game. Tim Washington not only took out Bill Barker, he went out to take out his own man, Brian Gamble. But the New York Enforcers, a very happy bunch. They're standing by with Broadway Danny Wolf. All right, they are the Eastern Conference champions, the New York Enforcers. I tell you. I think you guys are making New Yorkers forget about the amazing mess. Another unbelievable comeback. Tim Washington, James Pontius, homie, you are the leading scorer in the Founders Cup right now. Unbelievable. I owe that all to Mark DeMotto, man. He told, he told me, Tim, I believe in you. I know you can do this. Come on, baby. He, he went through for the rough red. He did it for me, man. He just laid him down for me. I passed him. You usually, you hardly ever jam. The last time I think you were on the jam, you won it against the wrestlers. Why don't you jam more? We only call the big dogs out when we really need them. I mean, we got some awesome jammers on our team, man. 
I mean, just feel like this team is the best team in the whole WSL, man. Well, we'll see, we'll soon see about that. Mark D'Amato coming here. Now you get on the California Quakes and Sean Atkinson. Right, and we will do the same to them as we have done to the, uh, this team tonight. Karen Magnuson, my girls captain, and this is the top ring, and the five borough lineup will dominate the Founders Cup. That's it, the big Founders Cup championships coming up between the Enforcers and the California Quakes. Back to you, Hawk and Ken. The final score once again, the New York Enforcers 20, the California Quakes 17. We'll see you next week, the Founders Cup championship, New York and California. Don't miss it. So long, everybody.